What's up guys and welcome back to another math puzzle and today we are looking at this nice pictorial system of equations. Now this is technically an algebra problem but what I would encourage you to do is not even think about it in an algebraic way. I want you to simply use logic and reasoning to try and solve this. Figure out what each of the components in the equations represents numerically and go from there. And one quick little caveat, that last line it has a lot of tricks and little hidden symbols that you want to take heed of. Hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play and I'll give you the explanation. All right, let's take a look at this puzzle. So the first thing we notice, and again, we wanna go linearly or vertically. We wanna start at the top and make our way down. First, I see these two helmets multiplied against each other equals 64. That means we're trying to find a number when times by itself gives you 64. And that, of course, is eight. So what I wanna do is I wanna make sure to say, hey, this is eight and this is eight. I see an eight down here, uh, helmet down here as well. That's also going to have a value of eight. We'll come to these later because they're a bit more complicated, but just remember every helmet is gonna be the same value, it's gonna be eight. So now I have eight to the second power. What does that mean, squared uh, to, to the second power? It means eight times itself. So this, uh, this figure right here is actually eight times eight, which is, I'll write 64, okay? And then we're dividing 64 by some number to get four, right? So the question here is we can use some, uh, you know, if you're doing this algebraically variable isolation, but really what it's asking is 64 divided by what number is four? And you can kind of figure that out by doing actually 64 divided by four, okay? 64 divided by four will give you that answer, which is actually 16. So 64 divided by 16 gives me four. Now I know the man here is worth 16. So I'm gonna write that down here, okay? Next, we come to the football. We're trying to figure out what that value is. Well, the football times 16 gives me 96. So the question we're gonna ask is what times 16 gives me 96? Or alternatively, 96 divided by 16 gives me what? So those are essentially asking those same questions. And 96 divided by 16 is of course six. And that works, right? Six times 16 gives me 96. Now we've got all the components. We wanna take heed of every single detail that's happening here. So first, I have a man plus a football plus a helmet. So the helmet is eight, the football is six, that's 14, and the man is 16. So this entire figure here is gonna have a value of 30. Okay, then we have just the man by himself. I'm looking at all the details. I didn't miss anything. All right, cool. I'm comfortable with him just being 16. And then last but not least, we have this helmet, which has a value of eight, but we want to be really careful because it's not, there's a little football hidden inside the helmet. So we have a value of eight and six, which gives us a total value of 14. So that's a little trick you want to watch out for. Then we've got 30 plus 16 times 14. And the last thing you want to be careful of is you don't want to just go from left to right. You don't want to say 30 plus 16 is 46 times 14. We don't do that. We want to remember the order of operation says that multiplication must happen before addition. So we got to complete these this multiplication problem, then we add the 30. So we say, what is 16 times 14? And that gives us 224, one shy of 225. And then we add that 30 at the end, and then 30 plus that gives me a nice, 254. I hope you enjoyed that math puzzle, and if you did, please click that like button. And if you wanna see more fun and awesome math puzzles, make sure to subscribe. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.